Hi guys, it's Raj. So welcome back to my channel. And today's video is all about research papers. Now many of the students have asked me via email about what exactly a research paper is, how do you write a research paper, and how it enhances your application. So today I'll be discussing all that. So to begin with, what exactly is a research paper? A research paper is a technical writing which will showcase your work and results. When you publish a paper, you are publishing your results for the scientific community and they can use those results to further advance the research. When a, your application has a research paper in it, it showcases your potential for research and it will help you get teaching assistantships and research assistantships in general. Now a research paper comes in three types. The first one is the basic research paper in which you do some new work or propose some new idea. A survey paper or review paper in which you read a large number of papers, compare and analyze, identify the specific applications of a particular technology or concept and present it in a brief concise way. The third one is an evaluation paper in which you simply propose a model but with some mathematical proof or simulation of how accurate or efficient it will be. Now your work can be showcased via two media, either the journals or conferences. The difference is that conference papers are presented in front of a jury or panel of reviewers. And after the conference, the proceedings are published, which includes the papers. Journal papers are differently evaluated. They are first reviewed, then they are verified by repeating your experiments if possible. Journal papers are generally more prestigious than conference papers. Uh, if you want to publish your work in a good platform, the best ones are IEEE, ACM, Springer and Elsevier. To publish in these journals is extremely difficult. However, you can try to publish in a conference whose proceedings are indexed by these organizations. So to publish a research paper is not an easy task at all. It's a long and tedious process and you'll probably require months of hard work. Now there are several steps involved, so let's go through them one by one. Alright, so the first step is to identify the domain in which you wish to work. Now there are several domains and it's difficult to shortlist a few and then choose one. What you must do is read up in brief about every domain and then choose the one which interests you. You don't have to be limited to only one domain. You can choose more than one and have some interdisciplinary research. For example, both machine learning and cybersecurity are upcoming and hot topics and you can combine them to come up with a really innovative idea and exciting research. Now the second step is extremely important. In order to write a good research paper, you have to read many, many research papers. Now a research paper is not normal text. It's not a story. It's not an article. There are facts, statistics, references, which are very confusing. It's a long and tiring process and it's not easy to read even four or five pages in one go. If you have to come up with a really good paper, you have to read a lot of them and hence you must, must get used to reading academic work like this. So go through several papers, read, read and read. Now what you must do is to identify your work. That is, you have to narrow down your general broad domain to a subdomain or specific problem. For example, if your domain is machine learning, now you must narrow it down to something like face recognition or price prediction. Then what you must do is read research papers relating to that problem. Such papers can be easily found by mentioning those keywords in the digital libraries like IEEE Explore, ACM Library and Springer Link. You must identify areas where more work can be done or needs to be done. Now here comes the most important step, do your research. In this step, you must actually do the work which will be showcased to the world in the form of journals and conferences. Your research could be an entirely new idea, like an application of a particular concept for a novel purpose. It could also be an improvement to existing approaches. For instance, if in an algorithm which uses linked lists as a data structure, if you achieve a better efficiency by using hash tables, this could be considered as new research. You could also combine several existing approaches 
to come up with a new model which takes care of the advantages of all the approaches together one more thing you could do is to analyze and identify flaws in current work this is an extremely good guideline for future research after you have come up with a new idea or some proposed improvement the next step is to implement your work this can be done via some experimental simulation or modules you don't need to have the complete working code with gui after you have done your work you need to gather experimental results in terms of statistics now these stats can show your accuracy or efficiency you have to compare these results with the existing results so that the importance of your work and its effectiveness can be known after you are done with your work and have results the next step is to write the research paper now here is a brief flow of the research paper beginning with the abstract you go to the introduction followed by a detailed literature review then you discuss your proposed model and there you can mention the block diagram and the advantages afterwards you must cite the results in terms of statistics you then conclude and mention the references which you have used now here i have provided a very brief overview of the flow the flow of a research paper is a large topic in itself and i would like to do justice to it by making a separate video on it after you are ready with your paper you then must select a conference in which you wish to publish it now i am saying conference and not journals because it's relatively easier for beginners to publish their work in the conferences rather than journals you must always select the conferences which are technically sponsored by IEEE ACM or Springer only also please check the conference scope before submitting conferences are generally very strict about the domains in which they accept papers you will then have to format your paper according to the template set by the conference every conference will have a separate template which specifies your font size alignment image alignments and the way of citations and references after you have submitted your paper the review process will begin initially there is a screening process to determine whether your paper falls under the scope of the conference or not when it passes this screening test a plagiarism test is performed an overlap of more than 15 or 20% is generally not accepted After the plagiarism test your paper is sent to two or three reviewers this is a double blind review process double blind means that the reviewer does not know the identity of the author as well as the identity of the other reviewer or reviewers who are assessing the same paper after some considerable review and evaluation which may take around 2 to 3 months you will generally receive a decision in the following scale of minus 3 to plus 3 Minus three means a strong reject, and plus three means a strong accept. Along with this, you will also receive some comments by the reviewers. If accepted, these may be some modifications, and if rejected, they will clearly specify the reasons for rejection. In which case, you can improve your paper and then submit it later to another conference. If your paper has been accepted, generally the result will be plus two, that is an accept. so along with this result you generally receive some modifications now these modifications may be technical in terms of your explanation or results or they may be non technical with respect to the formatting so you have to make these changes suggested by the reviewers and then generate a final camera ready copy or crc crc is the copy which will appear in the conference proceedings now due to the strict indexing rules of ieee acm and spenger you must strictly follow the template set by them else your paper may not be published after you have submitted your camera ready copy or crc you will be asked to register for the conference on the day of the conference you must be present and explain your paper there may be a panel of reviewers or judges who will ask you questions based on your work please note that payment of the conference fees does not imply publication you have to be present either physically or via some online platform like skype in order for your paper to get published so that was all about research papers i sincerely hope that i've cleared all your doubts thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos if you have any more comments or queries you can mention them in the comment box or shoot me an email at rvop.msprep@gmail.com thank you